I want you to really imagine something. Imagine you being younger, like a child. People speaking harshly to you. People showing you no love or care. If they do show you care, it, it is very little or very inconsistent. You are mostly being abused. You are being beaten yelled at, being insulted so often, being cussed at, being told that you are nothing, you are trash, you are an idiot, moron, fool, you are nothing special. Like, imagine the way you would feel. Truly imagine this. Imagine being treated like this for years. Let's say from age five all the way to age 20 or 21. Constant abuse. Now tell me, how would you behave? How would you think? Would you be very normal? Probably not. Would you behave like a normal human being human being maybe in some ways yes but more than likely there are going to be many things about you that isn't normal why is that well you have been abused for so long maybe the relationship with your mother and father was not normal was not normal as how normal children should have a relationship with normal parents. So if someone has been through this, is it really a surprise they behave abnormally? Is it a surprise they pretty much can make enemies everywhere they go? Is it a surprise if they take their anger out on you? Is it a surprise that they like lash out in anger very quickly or are very hypersensitive? So hypersensitive to where they feel like almost everything you say is an attack against them. Is that really a surprise? You have been abused for so long. You have been mistreated for so long. I believe in some cases, if you have been abused for so long, you may be in defense mode, ready to defend yourself, probably hyper alert. You may think that many people are evil. You may, because of your abuse, you may think that many people have bad intentions for you. Are you listening to what I am saying? Some time ago, maybe a year or more ago, I had a man, a younger, younger than me, yell at me so loudly so loud to where it did not make any sense so loud that i don't remember everything back then maybe some things but i believe he yelled at me so loud to where it felt spiritual i believe it felt very demonic chances are that person probably had a bad past or have that person probably went through some really bad things i think it is very easy for me to say hey that person is crazy that person has issues that person need to change i think that is very easy to say but at the same time i have not gone through probably what that person have went through Maybe some things, but maybe not everything. 
Am I saying it is okay for that person to mistreat me? I am not saying that. But at the same time, if you really think about it, if someone has been abused, what way are they really going to behave? I believe in the end, it is really going to take healing, maybe even forgiveness on their part. Let me say it in this way. In some cases, you may have to deal with some people who behave very, very poorly. We can't say everyone that behaves very badly, I am going to cut all of them off. You cannot think in that way. I believe that is very wrong. Because I believe some of those people, you may have to be a bit patient with. Yes, some of those people may scam you. Some of those people may manipulate you. Some of those people may lash out in anger at you. But I believe with much of those people, I believe much of those people deal with insecurity. They may deal with shame. They may be like ashamed of themselves. Like they may feel shame. Like they may feel like they are not good enough. Like some of them may be paranoid. Like fearful of their life as if someone wants to take their life, even when there is no threat of that. Abuse. Let me make an, an example. Would you say, let's say that there are many people with cancer that comes around you, and let's say that you don't like cancer. Would you say, or would you think, since I don't like cancer, everyone that has cancer, I am not going to help you. I don't want anything to do with you. Stay totally away from me. You disgust me. Like, would you say that or would you do that? Probably not. Probably many of those people who have cancer need your help. They may need you to take them to the hospital. They may need a little money to pay some bills. They may need your help for you to take them to the pharmacy or something. Well, let's take this example with those really misbehaved people. Much of those people need help. If you have been traumatized so badly, you need help. Of course, there may be some people where you may have to disconnect from. I understand that. But we can't push away every one of those people in that category. I really hope this makes sense. Maybe going back to the cancer example maybe some of those cancer people get on your nerves they may have a short fuse they may ask you for too much money maybe they inconvenience you way too much well that may go the same with those misbehaved people in a sense. You may say to me, Kevin, comparing a person with cancer and a person who is misbehaved, that is not really an equal match. And I do understand what you are saying. Maybe that is a bad example. But all in all, if you call yourself a Christian, you can't only deal with people that are good to you, that makes you smile, that makes you happy. No, 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 no. 
Sometimes you have to dig in the trash can, figuratively speaking, and scoop out stuff that may not be so appealing, if you understand what I am saying. Sometimes you have to go to the mud hole, get yourself all dirty for the benefit of another. It may be rainy outside. The ground may be full of mud. Mud may get on your face, but that may be necessary to pull a person out of that pit. Are you understanding what I am saying to you? Sometimes you may have to deal with knuckle-headed people, very stubborn people. It is necessary. How can you say you are a Christian, that you love God and would do anything for God, if you are not willing to help your fellow man or your fellow woman? Yes, some people you may have to disconnect from. Some people may be a physical or mental hazard to you. I understand that. But all in all, you have to help someone. Someone that may not be agreeable with you or to you. Yes, get down in the dumps. Get yourself dirty. Get that mud in your face. Get that dirt and the mud in between your fingernails. Trying to pull that person out of that pit, out of that mud hole. Yes, I really hope this makes sense. May God bless us.